Termentic here, and welcome back to Magical Task Force. Today, I'm going to be talking about port keys and portmanteaus. Now, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Portmanteaus are the little triangle boxes that you find the port keys in. Those are the ones that are actually on the map. Now, today I have four port keys that I have walked. I believe they're all 2Ks. And as you can see, when you actually make the port key come out, it automatically takes you into AR mode. Now, it's really cool, though, because the portal appears immediately. Now, as soon as you walk through that portal, and you can see I turned around, you're inside of that building. It's full AR. It's really awesome. Um, I actually come over here, and I look out through the window, and you can see how the perspective changes as you get closer. Now, you do have to stay within the parameters. You can see that little blue line along the outline. You do have to stay in that, or it will kick you out. Um, and when you go into a port key also, you get to pick five items. Now, those five items are dependent on what level um, a port key is, whether it's a 2K, a 5K, or a 10K. Now, I found uh, that you can only get certain ingredients actually from port keys. You can only get certain fragments for foundables through port keys. And I honestly really, really, really love this aspect of the game. Now, this one right here, you can see, uh, I don't place it perfectly on the floor. And I, I'm glad I, I did, I'm glad I kind of did that because I want to show you again the perspective. You can see how the boot's way bigger, it's closer to me. I actually go around, look at the portal. This portal looks bigger because of the perspective. Now, because of switching in AR, it has a little bit of lag, but it's not that bad. Now, remember perspective. I put it closer to me and a little bit higher. It wasn't flat on the ground. And as you can see, it looks like I'm a little kid inside of this room. Same room, same things all around us, the table, the chairs, the pumpkins. But my perspective is different because of the placement of the port key. So placement is going to be extremely, extremely important on this. You want to make sure that you are in either an outside area. I had to do it inside of my house because I was watching my two little kids yesterday. But you want to try to do it outside in a big area, so you have flat area, so you actually have room to walk around. Now, as you can see right there, too, I got a ton of points for that particular category in the registry from that port key. It gave me almost two levels. That's, that was huge. Now, I have a third one that I go into. And as you see that little blue line, that little blue circle right there, I assume that is what they want you to stay on because you can stand still, turn around and still see everything. You don't have to walk around like I did. I'm just a big nerd. And I assume, like I said, that that's where they want you to stand so you don't go outside of it. Now, this is really cool. If you notice, all of those are XP, but every single time I got an XP um, reward, it multiplied it. Now, some of them are bigger than others, but I ended up getting 2,100 experience just from that one port key. And that's pretty cool, too, if you notice right there. I still got a fragment for a foundable, even though all I did was click XP. So I'm assuming, I'm not sure, but I'm assuming that regardless of what you pick when you're inside of the building with the port key, you will get at least one item. Now like and subscribe if you found this helpful leave a comment down in the comment section if you have any questions or if you have found anything useful that i might have left out and uh like i said port keys are really really cool in my opinion in this game now to give you a little bit of backstory port keys in harry potter actually allowed the person to transport automatically to a place so i was really concerned on how they were going to do this i like the idea of the portal the portal brings a, a new light to it but um like i said like and subscribe if you have uh any questions make sure to reach out and i will catch you next time